Out of your belly, chef Lord. Rivers of living water, so yeah. Out of your belly, chef Lord. Rivers of living water, y'all help me sing. Out of your belly, chef Lord. Welcome to the Men of Integrity, men that rescue men and women, and we are delighted that you have joined us again for a journey through the Word of God. God is a good God, and you say, yes, He, he is. is. <laughs> I know your testimony is great about how God has healed, delivered, and set free. And if you have not received your miracle yet, I want you to know that you are next in line if you have the faith of God. Mm -hmm. We have Apostle J. Edward Fisher, our co-host, Pastor Sang Center in Copper's Cove. Yeah, and, and you know, the people say all the time, God is good. <laughs> Amen. You know, God really is good. Mm -hmm. When we think of His goodness, His mercy, His grace, and His love that He has shown towards us, we really have to say that He's a good God mm -hmm. because we are so unworthy Amen. of the things that He do for us. That's right. Praise the name of the Lord. and. And I guess if it wasn't for him, I don't know where, where we would be. I think the psalmist said, if it wasn't for the Lord on my side, yes, sir. where would I be? Amen. <laughs> I'm just glad he's a present help mm -hmm. in a time of trouble. Yeah, praise the name of the Lord. I want you to call a neighbor, call a friend, and tell them the men of integrity is on the air. Again, we want to thank God for those of you that are talking to us in the marketplace and letting us know that you're being blessed by this uh, broadcast. We want you to sow a seed into the broadcast, into the KPLE ministry, as we continue to amplify the voice of God throughout our region. The Lord move upon your heart. Why don't you do that? And God will bless you certainly real good. Our text comes from Psalms 34, verses six through eight. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamped round about them that fear him and deliver them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trust in him. Apostle, it's no secret that the times in which we live, we must have an up close and personal relationship with God. That's all right to overcome the many strongholds and high places in our lives, we need the overwhelming presence of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And again, I will ask the question, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? Mm -hmm. The greatest weapon that Satan has against us is doubt, and doubt produces discouragement. Doubt is also offensive to God because doubt suggests that God is not real and that he is not capable of fulfilling his promises. I also want you to understand that doubt is contagious. It is released by words and it is empowered by time. Mm -hmm. And so we have to now, Apostle, wrap our minds around the fact that though we are challenged in our beliefs and crises and circumstances, we must believe that God will help us and he wants to help us through faith and the power of the Holy Ghost. Yeah, well, you're, you're, you're certainly right, Bishop. We, we must believe that he loves us just like he said. Actually, yes. he, he so loved us. And mm -hmm. so what is, what is that like? If we can understand that, then we'll probably never doubt wants to see um, God's help. Yes. But we, but you're right, we, we, we doubt God's help and, and it, it ties God's hand, um, uh, it torments us. <laughs> That's right. You understand what I'm saying? And um, it causes us to, 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 to do things that um, just go the other way. And we don't have to do that. Uh, um, uh, but um, the, the, the psalm that said, uh, blessed is he, uh, them that trust in Him. That's what we have to do. We have to, we have to trust in the Lord. May not, may not feel like it, and it may not feel right, but we got His word. You know, it's so important 
to know and understand that God will help you, mm -hmm. that God desires to help us, but we must overcome the negative thoughts. That negative seed is implanted in our mind by imagination and lack of knowledge and understanding. Mm -hmm. People don't really know God or understand God's operational procedures. Mm -hmm. It is so imperative that we go back to the Bible and understand the teachings of the Apostle Paul in Romans chapter 7 and Romans chapter 8 when he talks about the contrast of the flesh versus the spirit, the carnal mind versus the spiritual mind, mm -hmm. and the importance of understanding that the Holy Ghost is so necessary to be able to withstand these trials and tribulation. Let me throw the scripture out and you can jump in here. In 2 Corinthians 10 and 5, he says, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalt itself against the knowledge of God and bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Mm -hmm. Apostle, it's important that we do that because we are attacked with negativity about God on a daily basis. Yeah, well, you know, you're right. The problem is, you stated earlier, uh, we don't know God and we probably don't know His Word. And so um, when things do come into our mind that's from the enemy, we don't have anything to counteract them with. We, we don't bring it, we can't bring whatever the enemy is trying to get to us in obedience to Christ because we don't know. Yeah. And so knowledge is, knowledge is important. Uh, uh, knowledge um, in Hosea, the sixth chapter, uh, God's will is that we know him. We know him. And this was the problem with Israel in the, in, in the wilderness. They, 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 they're following God, but they didn't know him. And so they perished. A lot of them perished in the wilderness. And the Bible says uh, uh, people perished for the lack of knowledge. So they didn't, they didn't know. And yet um, he gave us the spirit of God so that we could know. Yes. You understand? But if we don't avail ourselves of the spirit of God, you understand what I'm saying? Then we won't, we won't understand. These things are spiritually discerned, but he gave us the spirit so that we have no excuse. It's just that we got to be diligent and do our part and the spirit of God will do his part. He's the greatest teacher in, in the whole universe. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, you can see him working in the life of Christ, working, working in the life of the apostle and, um, uh, in the Old Test the New Testament saints, and they'll work in our lives the same way. Same spirit. Same spirit. Uh, amen. You know, an example of that, I think, would probably be when the Scripture tells us in Timothy that perilous times will come. That's right. We should not be surprised by the times in which we live. We should not be surprised by some of the devastation that we're experiencing. Mm -hmm. But then the Bible also tells us what to do when these times come. He says, put on the full armor of God mm -hmm. that you may be able to withstand against the wiles of the devil. You know, in the evil day, you know, he talks about adversity coming, you know, but have faith in God. Mm -hmm. And so, God will help us and God wants to help you and God wants to make you whole. But Hebrews 6, Hebrews 11 and 6 mm -hmm. becomes relevant now <laughs> at this time. And I can't get away from this. I talk about this in every one of our messages. Uh -huh. And he says, but, but without, faith, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Mm -hmm. He that cometh to God must first believe that God is and that he's a rewarder of them that didn't seek him. Mm -hmm. So we have to sit down for a period of time and acquire faith and let faith be birthed in us so that we can grow from faith to faith. Yeah, and then, you know, 1 John 5 and 4 says, and this is the victory yes. that overcometh the world, our faith. Praise the name of the Lord. And so you, you're right, we, I mean, we can't leave off we can't leave off with faith because we're dealing with what God is a faith being. And uh, his greatest desire, I believe, is for us to believe him. And there's a reward for believing him and believing that he is 
just what he says he is and he can do what he says he can do and we can do what he says we can do. But we got to believe that. that. Everything hinges on what we believe, Bishop. You know, I'm, I'm really challenging those that are listening to take a deeper look at your faith and a deeper look at your experience according to God's word. Mm -hmm. Because it requires faith to believe what is required of us. You know, our joy would be so much more complete if we had the belief in God. We would have so much more peace of mind if we trusted God. Mm -hmm. But in order to do that, you got to have an individual experience. <laughs> all right. <laughs> See, many people, they want all this, but they don't want the individual experience. Okay. And Psalms 119.71, you can jump in right here. He says, it is good for me that I have been afflicted, mm -hmm. that I might learn his statutes. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you, you're right. Uh, see, again, if we don't know God, when sometimes these things come, watch this year, we only think about the negative of it. But we don't think about, watch this year, that just because it, it starts off like that doesn't mean it's going to end up like that. In fact, in fact, again, it says, all things work together for the good of them that love God. Yes. Uh, are those that are called according to his purposes. But, you know, but if you're going to live in the flesh, you think that everything that feels bad is bad. Everything that looks bad is bad. But that's not that's not so. And then even if it started off bad, if we stay with God and trust him, mm -hmm. he'll make it good. He will. <laughs> and I really want you to, to know tonight that God will do it. God mm -hmm. will help you. Mm -hmm. You know, in Proverbs, we quote it all the times, three and five, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Mm -hmm. That's not an easy task unless you have spent time learning faith and the operational procedure of the word of God. Mm -hmm. If you have not taken that time, trusting him with all your heart is a difficult task to lean not to your own understanding. That's a difficult task mm -hmm. for us if we are carnal minded. That's right. The only way to combat that is that we have to be taught the word of God, been through some things with God and allowed faith and patience to have his perfect work. The last part of that, he says, and all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Mm -hmm. You know, nothing is too small and nothing is too big to acknowledge God about. That's right. He can save us a lot of heartache and pain if we would acknowledge him and let him give us the direction in which we should go. You're right. But here's the problem. The problem is that we don't. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> we, uh, we, we don't. And so that kind of that kind of ties God's hand. And, and, and God still is, I think, dealing to working to 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 get that information to us. Um, but. Uh, without it, you understand what I'm saying? We're just in no man's land. You understand what I'm saying? But if we follow God um, uh, and trust him, that's the thing about it. See, we, you know, some of us act like we're all from Missouri, mm -hmm. but we're not all from Missouri, that's friend. Right. You understand what I'm that's saying? Right. And uh, if you think you're going to deal with God, you got to see before you believe, you're not going to see anything. <laughs> that's why faith is required. That's right. You know, he says, this poor man who writes this text, yeah. he describes his own episode. He was in a situation that took him into a psychological and emotional path that required crying out, meaning that this guy was really in a situation. Mm -hmm. It could be a situation that is similar to yours. It could be a situ situation that's worse than yours. But the prologue suggests by the choice of words, he was lacking something. He describes himself as a poor man. But being a poor man is necessarily all bad. Because <laughs> no. when you look at Matthew chapter 5 and verse 3, the record says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom. Meaning that all of the kingdom is available to the believer. Mm -hmm. But the poor man in spirit means to be humble, acknowledging our sins before God and recognize that we need his mercy. 
God understands where we are. Do we understand where we are and what it's going to take to get out of where we are? Mm -hmm. And in order to get out of where we are, sometimes it requires calling out to God. That, well, praise the name of the Lord. You know, here's the promise. Uh, they that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, yes. shall be delivered, shall be helped, shall be strengthened, shall be healed. You understand what I'm saying? This Everything is in this great salvation. The uh, Watch this here. God has paused. He's already really provided. We've got to call. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, absolutely. And it brings us to our next point that we want you to think about, and that is you must identify your source of help. Sometimes we're looking for help in all the wrong places. Well, that's true. You know, we need to let the record be clear. There are some things that our mom, our dad, you know, our siblings, our friends, they can't help us out of. <laughs> you know, there are some things that money and our social status will not get us out of. That's right. We need God. That's right. And, and Psalm 46, one through four, God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth be removed, though the mountains be carried into the sea. So when we really have this relationship with God, by faith, through trust, mm -hmm. because of the born again experience, we know where our help lies. That, that's right, pray, and our help comes from the Lord, and, and we have the record of his ability. <laughs> you yeah. understand what I'm saying? But we got, we got to believe in that. We, we, we may say that, well, I believe God can do anything. Well, that's fine. He, he can, but will he do it for you? Amen. <laughs> and that's the struggle, yeah, the struggle. Of, of belief. Satan wants to bombard your mind with all of the negative of your past, mm -hmm. with all of your incapabilities, with all of your frailness, and he doesn't want you to cry out to God. Mm -hmm. But this psalmist said in Psalms 121, I will lift up my eyes to the ears from which cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. And I love the latter part of that because there are so many so-called gods out there. <laughs> but he says the God that I'm talking about <laughs> is the one that made the heavens and the earth. He goes on and he describes, he says, he will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Mm -hmm. God doesn't slumber. Mm -hmm. He says, behold, he that keepeth Israel neither slumbers nor sleep. Mm. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. That's an exciting part. That's a good place to praise the Lord. He will preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth, even forevermore. Mm -hmm. Let me say something about this last part here. Go ahead. Uh, this is why I don't understand why people say, I'm afraid to go to church. Uh, uh, I don't want to be around a lot of people. This book says... The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to be in the presence of worship and come on, praise. Come on. You have to be among those that are sanctified, mm -hmm. forsaking not the assembling of ourselves together as of such. It's imperative and important for us to come and hear the Word of God. Yeah, well, you know, it's imperative, important for us to have fellowship. Yes, yes. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And then we have to understand that God's uh, business is about people. Yes. And you and you are people too, and if you're gonna be working with God, you got to be in there with people. They may not be all that you want them to be, but then you ain't all that you, you need to be either. But exactly. watch this here, you gotta come out of that. We're, we can't live as hermits and everything like that. No, that, Jesus didn't, praise the name of the Lord. That's right. And so we shouldn't. A a absolutely. So often people want God to make house calls. Mm. But sometimes you got to go to the house of God. That's right. You know, the house of God is the one place you will always find God. Mm -hmm. You may not necessarily find God at your house. <laughs> you may not find God at your brother's or sister's house, but you will always find God at his house. Mm -hmm. When you come into his gates with thanksgiving and to his courts with praise and bless his name, you'll find God. Mm -hmm. But the house of God is important as well. 
So we're talking about that God would do it. What is it that you need God to do? What is it that you need God to show himself strong and mighty in your life? Because he will do it, but what does it require? It requires you to have faith in God. It requires you to believe that God can and that God will do it. And it requires you to have the born again experience. Mm -hmm. Why would God do all of these things for you if you have no desire to be born again? (laughs) <laughs> this is why I always push a positive at this, this area. This is why the question is so <laughs> important and so, glory to God, a man must. Will you be made whole? Mm-hmm. Not just getting what your need is, what you see as a need to be made whole, but God says, listen, I want to make you whole, that's complete, right. total. That's, that's right. Well, you know, God has... Watch this here. He has his son in mind and we, we are being conformed. Watch this here to the image of his son. Now you got to understand Jesus was the man. That's right. Praise the name That's of right. the Lord. And we're so far from it, but God is diligently working to bring us and, 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 and we may not even arrive totally while we're here, but we're going, but in eternity, he'll still be working on that. But we got to understand that. I mean, Jesus was the man. Man, you know, he never sinned. Praise the name of the Lord. He is perfect. You understand what I'm saying? Um, and um, um, he's our example. He's our pattern. And he pleased, he pleased the Father. And if we're going to please the Father, we're going to have to live his life. Absolutely. Jesus did nothing until he went and found John mm-hmm. at, the, at the beginning of his ministry. He went and found John and told John, it is needful for you to baptize me that the scripture might be fulfilled. Immediately when he came up out of the water, the Holy Spirit descended upon him like a dove. The voice out of heaven says, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. All right. Symbolizes the born again experience of the water and of the spirit. The writer says immediately the spirit led him in the wilderness All right. to be tested and tried of the devil. This is what happens with us. <laughs> we, we, we get convicted by the preaching and the teaching of the word. We repent to God. We get baptized in Jesus name. We get filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. And then here comes the enemy to tempt us. For what reason? For us to demonstrate the power and authority of God. Mm -hmm. At the conclusion of his testing, the writer says that he goes back into the city under the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh yeah, praise the name of the Lord. And and, and that's that's where God wants to take us at, into the power, praise the name of the Lord, into the kingdom experience, into the, uh, uh, the, uh, the Holy Ghost brings in the kingdom of God to us, Praise the name of the Lord. And then we can be and we can act like Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. But we need the power of the Holy Ghost. We need the power of the Holy Ghost. (laughs) Now, the third thing I want you to understand is that you must initiate the rescue. You know, Romans 10 and 13, apostle alluded to it earlier. Whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Mm -hmm. This text says that this poor man cried. Come on. And the Lord heard him. He cried until the Lord heard him. You got to pray and cry till the Lord hears you. Mm -hmm. When he heard him, an action was taken. The Lord delivered him key out of all of his troubles. Mm -hmm. The Lord fixes everything when he (laughs) comes. You may have been crying about this, but when God comes, he fixes everything there is to fix about you. He says, I sought the Lord and he heard me and he delivered me from all of my fears. The good thing about it, God wants to help us, but you got to initiate the rescue. You got to cry out. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. And uh, and and here's the thing about it. If you really want to be heard. Watch this here. You got to get in there and find out how to be heard. Yes, sir. Follow follow that scripture. And then the Bible says, and if we know that he heard us. We have the petition that we desired of him. But if we don't know, we're guessing that that's not going to work. That's why we need to get into the scripture, um, uh, get into fellowship, get into the place, watch this, where they're teaching about God, that there's knowledge about God. There is uh, a demonstration 
of yes, God. Sir. Praise the testimonies about God. You understand what I'm saying? God, 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 God all the way. Yes. <laughs> you know, Paul said we didn't come with excellent words and enticing speech. Come on. But we came in power and demonstration of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. My brothers and sisters, the writer says that he came to his own and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them he gave power to become sons of God. Mm -hmm. The record says that the whole earth moans and groans waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. So God wants to help you and he wants to demonstrate power and authority to you. You have loved ones that need to be saved. You have enemies that need to be saved mm -hmm. and possibly you need to be saved yourself. Amen. But the power of God is willing and ready to do that. We're moving to the end time at a rapid pace. I think so. Now is the time to seek out God. Now is the time to let God help us, deliver us, so that we could be the example that others need to find the Christ. Yeah, and you, you know, we're living in a time where people are leaving the faith, Bishop. They may not even be leaving the, the, the church house, but they're leaving the faith. Yes. And we can't, we can't afford to leave the, we can't afford to leave the faith. You understand what I'm saying? We, yes. must, we got a, um, Paul said in Romans, the first chapter, from faith to faith. Then at the close of his ministry, he said, he said, I fought a good fight. I finished my course. But he said this year, he said, but I kept the faith. Yes. yes. <laughs> and, and, and that is very important because keeping the faith mm -hmm. means that I operate in the doctrinal teaching of God's word. That's right. And one of them is this right here. Psalms 20 and one. The Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the Lord, the name of the God of Jacob, of Jacob defends thee. Mm -hmm. Psalms 15 and 15, call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you will honor me. God says, listen, I will do it for a praise. I will do it for worship. I will do it to make my name marvelous. But to keep that faith is to keep the process mm -hmm. of what God has required of us. You got about 30 seconds. Well, you know, uh, again, we can't we can't minimize the fact that um, we're probably in the last, well, we're in the last days, yes. you know, and, um, and, t and times are getting worse, but we got to find ourselves keeping the faith though, no matter what, God is still in control, but we got to stay in control of, and, and, and lay hold on eternal life. Yes, you know, this poor man cried and the Lord heard him and delivered him out of all of his mm. troubles. All you have to do is call upon the name of the Lord and he will answer you and he will show you things that you did not know. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 33 and 3. We're so excited about you. Join us in any one of our services. We promise you'll have a life changing experience and the power of the Holy Ghost. God bless you. We're praying for your miracle. Mm -hmm. Out of your belly, out of your, 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 out